Good morning, what is going on? So I am gonna be filming a vlog throughout today. It is Friday, September 1st. Can't believe it's already September, but I'm gonna be kind of taking you through the day of a real estate agent slash investor. Got some things to do on my properties today and not a ton in real estate, but I've been wanting to film these vlog type things for a while now and just been not too lazy, but it's hard to remember for me to actually film throughout the day. So I'm doing my best to film everything I do, go over that. So right now I'm just making my morning coffee, about to read my book, which I do for about an hour every morning. It is 6.10, I usually get up around five. A little late today, it was like 5.15 because last weekend I got back Tuesday, but it's in Utah, so time difference is messing up my sleep schedule a little bit, but we're getting back to it. Uh, gonna have some coffee, read a book, and then go for a run, a nice four mile run with some speed work. And I'll probably check in after that, but just kind of want to also address, I've been wanting to do this for a while now and just haven't because I kind of want to document my journey to success and to acquiring more rentals and getting better as an agent. And I just haven't done that, which I wish I have the past couple of years I've been doing this because it's been great. I've had like a weight loss journey, acquired more rentals, quit my W-2 job to become a real estate agent full time. So a lot has happened that I wish I documented. So like they say, best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best time is today. So I'm gonna start this today and see how it goes. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, but it's kind of one, I wanna share my story. And two, I just wanna document more of my life and have something to look back on. So I'll catch you probably after the run. So I am currently on my walk at lunchtime with my dog. Uh, spent most of the morning filming and editing reels for Instagram and all the platforms I put it on. Um, a lot of people like will say as an agent, I shouldn't be filming and editing my own reels. I should hire it out and utilize my time better. But I don't think some people understand, like when you're starting out and stuff, you can't just hire everything out. Like you're not actually doing everything in business. If you just hire everything out, I get it when you're busy and you have no time for it and you're making money that can pay for it to get the return on your time. But if you have nothing better to do, and I'm speaking to a lot of agents out there who they get told to hire stuff out, just, oh, that's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your time if you have other things to do. But today, I don't have much to do in real estate with like showings or anything like that. I'm scheduling a few showings for the weekend, but I'm not going to show properties right now. So I'm gonna utilize my time best of actually editing my own stuff, learning how to do it, and getting a grasp on short form content so that when I do hire out, I can explain it to whoever I hire, how I want it done, and how my content's made. So I think that's a takeaway that some people need to realize that they hear all these people and influencers way, way ahead of where they are to hire stuff out. Put on someone else, use your time best purpose, which I get. But you also have to understand starting out, you're gonna have to wear all the hats in the business, including being a video editor. So that is what I'm doing. Sorry about that, that was quite loud. But I can go finish this walk, go home, eat some food and continue editing because Canva wasn't working all morning. So I was just chopping up videos, putting in titles and captions but now i have to actually put all the pretty stuff in so just want to give you guys a little update it is currently 2 45 i have still been editing uh also had to make lunch do a couple random things around the house in between so got a little bit distracted but that's sometimes how the day goes uh so far i've edited seven reels i think five are complete no, maybe eight reels and five are complete. I need three more to be finished editing, just putting in the pretty stuff. Canva finally started working for me. Uh, sending out letters to investors, 
So I've got to do that. I realized I am out of stamps though. So I have to go to the post office. Maybe I can make it there today. Hopefully send them out before the weekend. But I don't know if they close early or anything for the holiday weekend. You know how everyone takes their holiday. Um, <laughs> doesn't make a difference to me. But uh, probably going to head to the gym here in the next, within the next hour. I usually head anywhere from 3 to 3.45-ish. Try to get in there before the whole rush of everyone else coming in. But I don't know. I'm weird. I don't really like working out in an empty gym because I'm like not as motivated. But then I also don't like working out in a packed gym because then you can't get on a machine. So I like to find that like middle ground where there's like some people there, but not a ton of people there. But again, holiday weekend. So it's also Friday. It always seems to be a little bit slower on Fridays and weekends because some people don't uh, go all the time. So I had a steak for lunch. That was great. Getting in my protein and yeah, I'm going to fold up these letters. And then waiting on an Amazon package so I can bring you along and go fix a dryer at my other rental property. The dryer belt snapped. Uh, so never installed one, but I took it out. So it should be easy enough to put right back in. But waiting for the Amazon package. Unfortunately, my mail usually doesn't get here until about 5 or 6 p.m. So that's going to be kind of a later in the day type situation. But we'll get it done. That's for sure. Told the tenants it'll be up and running by the weekend, so we'll get it done. All right, so I just got back from the gym. Um, don't mind my messy house behind me. <laughs> I live by myself. I do the best I can. But um, just got back from the gym. Tough workout. It was supposed to be body weight and accessories. I think just in body weight stuff, like push-ups and pull-ups, I did 200 push-ups and... 98 pull-ups. Nick Bear knows how to put a workout plan together. Let's just say that. But dryer belt came in. So we're going to go install that here pretty soon. It is 530. Debating if I want to go take my dog for a walk, then do that or do that, then take my dog for a walk. I'm trying to figure that out. And then every time I order off Amazon, it's very difficult for me not to purchase some books because they're an investment. So I got this one, storytelling animal, I'm trying to get better at telling stories especially for stuff like this for youtube it's a lot more i guess it's a lot more useful to get my point across and for people to actually stay engaged so i'm not telling a boring story so i'm doing it to help you and then the other one is 10x is easier than 2x this one i just heard about i think tuesday and just bought it that day there's one thing I like doing. If I hear a good book recommendation from someone I trust, someone I know, someone that's usually ahead of me in business, I'm buying the book. I want to start a library. I already have quite the collection going on. I probably have over, I don't know, 120 something books. So I always buy them. I don't mind reading on a Kindle, but I like having the physical book. It's just a little bit different feeling. But when I'm traveling, I usually just download some Kindle books just so it's easier to pack because I'm usually just a one bag kind of guy. But that stuff's in. I'm going to grab some chow, some food, and then probably go do that dryer belt before it gets dark. All right, so here I am. The exciting part about being a landlord in the basement of the rental. Uh, got the dryer all opened up, and we're going to kind of check it out. I took it apart last the other day, but... Uh, not a certified dryer mechanic but we got the belt going around this drum and there's a pulley underneath so let you know when she's up and running well ladies and gentlemen we have done it we got the belt on and we got a running dryer My screw fell out on this side though. Got a little bit of exposure. Gotta fix that and then we're up and we're done. Not bad, quick $20 fix instead of having to go buy a $800 dryer. What is up? So I am gonna just do a quick closeout for this video. I just uh, wrapped up some dinner, eating my uh, dessert, my uh, protein packed, what is it? Cottage cheese, that's what it is, with some protein powder. 
mix that up, put it in the freezer. You got basically ice cream at night. Great way to do it. Uh, did that. Just going to stretch and then I'm heading to bed. It is about five and nine, but I like going to bed early, getting up early. That's my way of doing it. It works for me and uh, get better quality sleep, at least for me. Don't mind this eye. I don't know what happened, but I think I got something in it. Still hurts, but it started stinging. I don't know if I got like a spice in it after cooking or what, but still struggling a little bit with it. So uh, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. Like I said, not exactly sure where I'm going to be taking these, but hopefully kind of bring you along on busy kind of active days, show you a little bit of my life and uh, I don't know, maybe give you some motivation here and there when I feel inspired to speak on something I feel strongly about, but I'll catch you guys next time.